What's going on guys, Antonio here. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up for me and let's get into it. All right, so we're on Instagram. We're on DJ Academics page. Uh, I know I had done a video, what, almost a week ago and I was covering uh, the uh, Meek Mill 50 Cent drama and they had shut Academics page back but he had announced that he was, that he was gonna have the page back within the next 24 hours. And obviously it's been back for several days. Now he back making that bread, but, uh, he put me on to a story that I thought was hilarious. He, he, uh, had a live stream, you know, he streams on rumble and Twitch and on YouTube, uh, on the King academics channel. And he showed this clip that he has on his Instagram of uh, Cameron and they had Cameron on CNN trying to get him to talk about the uh, Diddy case, the the video of Diddy and Cassie in the hotel room. Obviously, I'm trying to be careful with my words, but CNN was the was the network that actually broke that story. Um, a lot of people are saying the feds gave uh, CNN that hotel footage of Diddy and Cassie because that that video is eight years old. Someone had kept it in the tuck for the longest and uh, they released it to CNN. Um, they're trying to milk this because they're getting a lot of they're getting a lot of coverage at the moment because CNN CNN used to be the number one news network, period. And now they're in third place. Fox News is one. MSNBC is in second position and uh, CNN is in third. But they broke the Diddy story and they they got a lot of eyeballs on them. So they're trying to they're trying to milk this. And obviously, this is an election year as well. So they're trying to do anything to get eyes on the network. So they thought it was a smart idea to invite Cameron on. Uh, you know, Cameron has very popular podcasts. It is what it is uh, with him and Mace. And it seemed like the Mace actually used to be signed to Diddy on Bad Boy. It seemed like it might have been a smarter decision to bring Mace onto the show or at least have them on together. But they tried to get Cameron to come on the network and talk about Diddy. And let's watch this exchange because it's hilarious. For being here. First, when you saw that video of Diddy, Cassie uh, in that hotel, did you recognize that Sean Combs? Um, what I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, um, everything in the video is egregious. I'm against. Uh, I don't support. Uh all the charges that's alleged against them, I don't support any of that traffic and minors, uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. Uh, no, being that I know him, he's not necessarily a friend, but yeah, I was upset when I seen it. But did, did you recognize everything him? I just said, did you recognize right? that I kind of anger at all from your experiences? I don't know like that. What do you mean? Do I be recognized? Do I recognize him? I've seen him. What do you mean my experiences? I've seen him and I thought... I thought it was disgusting. I didn't do a zoom in to see if it was really him or nothing, but he admitted it was him. So, yeah, it was him. What did you think about the apology that he gave in that other video? Amy, for this, the apology ain't for me to decide for Cassie. What, what I what I think about it don't matter. He ain't do nothing to me. Cassie need to need to ask Cassie if she accept the apology. I told you I feel. I said what I said. I want to play a conversation that you had on your podcast back in September with Mace. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yeah. When you had your record mm, deal, why did you take me to Biggie Smalls and not um, Bad Boy? Man, it's almost going to bring me to tears to say this. I just, being that I saw you as, as such a good friend, I wanted to put you with somebody I knew with. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. A lot of people ask me that on Instagram. Yeah, I knew man. Don't have me just out here crying and shit, yeah. man. I don't want to get emotional knew, in here, man. Instantly, I knew Biggie would would do right by. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I mean, is there um, is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? <laughs> Jeez. 
so I'm going to get some cheeks after this horse oh, no. Um, I'm just going off what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what Mace said. And of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. And y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there. But for me to tell you mm-hmm. how Puff acting and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that all invited me to. Yo, who, yo, who booked me for this joint? All I'm right. wilding. I don't be sitting Cameron. around watching Diddy and all that. Yeah, thanks. Man, come on, man. Thanks for crazy. joining us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yo, thank you. Thank you for having me. You enjoy. All right. <laughs> so, and you see, um, I saw Timberland on that on that clip. I saw Timberland commented he was laughing at that, which is shout out to Timberland. I love his music, but okay. So he went on. It is what it is. This morning, I didn't even go home last night. <laughs> Because I had went to the studio. I washed up, though, so I'm good. I ain't going to say none of that. But, <laughs> yeah, man, you know, um, you was going to say something? No. Oh, no, I seen your hand. Yeah, no, they invited me on the show to talk about uh, what's going on with Diddy and all that. And then my my thing about it was, May stat, is that they didn't invite me on to say about how successful our show is or the positive stuff we do in the community, how every day, five days a week, Mace talks to kids on a Zoom call. Mace doesn't even promote this. I'm going to promote this for Mace. Is that every day at 5 o'clock, it don't matter what's going on, what's happening, um, where he's at. It, does, it could be money involved. It could be a photo shoot. It could be whatever. He stops what he's doing to talk to kids around the world about being positive and um, doing what they believe in and so on and so forth, and to the point where, you know, one day he was at my house and he told me, Kim, you can't make no noise. Don't come here. I'm not playing with you. Like, that's how serious, <laughs> no, but seriously, that's how serious he takes what he does. And we do all these positive things, and you call me on CNN for the bullshit, I'm going to give you the bullshit. That's, that's <laughs> just what's going to happen. So we got some free promo. I, I teased the pink horsepower. Uh, they tried to bring up when Mace... Uh, Bought me the biggie instead of puffing. I say, yeah. If you seen it, what you asking me about it for? Like, even- all right. So there you go. That's him explaining why he kind of had that energy for CNN. Uh, the news isn't the news anymore. Um, someone that used to be at CNN, he'd also been at NBC, was Jeff Zucker. Uh, you can Google that name. Jeff Zucker used to be the producer he used to be the, like the executive producer of the today show when matt lauer was there and they were number one for like seven years straight and all this and then they did something and they folded the news division into the entertainment division and so you started to see a shift in the news and it stopped being about news it started becoming entertainment you fast forward a few years jeff zucker leaves uh, NBC and jumps over to CNN. Now he's got some kind of big entertainment firm. Like I say, he's not at CNN no more. But a lot of these news news channels started doing a lot more like entertainment pieces, magazine style pieces. So CNN used to be a serious network, and they saw. But I mean, their ratings had have been declining for a while. Uh, they used to have shows like Crossfire and all this, and. Um, I used to watch, obviously, Larry King Live was a huge show for them. And they're, what they what they used to put out is different now. And so having Cameron to come on and talk about Diddy, when, again, he was never signed to Diddy. You know, they, they've been in the same places and whatnot, but his, his co-host was the one that actually was on Bad Boy. It seemed like it would have been a smarter thing to have Mace on instead of Cameron, but I I was laughing hysterically at Cameron and and you know he's like yo I'm about to go clap some cheeks and all this you know and promoting his uh 
his uh, pink horse power, whatever that stuff is that he got on the website. They always talk about on the podcast. But like I said, I thought that was funny. Uh, did you think, uh, cause some people are like Cameron shouldn't have done that. That was wrong. And that was a black woman. He did that too, which I thought that was ridiculous. I felt like no matter who the person, uh, there's an old clip of cam and he was on, uh, the O'Reilly factor with, uh, was it Dame dash and, uh, uh, Bill O'Reilly was trying to, uh, embarrass him and claimed that hip hop was ruining all these kids lives and all this. And, and I love that clip of cam on the O'Reilly factor. It was fantastic. But uh, like I said, if you think he's, a, if he think he's wrong and he should have just been a professional or whatever, uh, you can obviously say that. And uh, we want you here. We're on the road to 3000 subs. Uh, we need your subscription. If you, if you like the content, please give me a follow Facebook, Instagram. I'm on X. I'm on three. It's all at Akari Press. Type in AkariPress.com. It will take you to my comic book brand, Way of the Gun. I've got the link to that and the link to my gum road in the description if you want to check out some of my other projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.